Mas There's also a baby here He's two He's really cute He doesn't like people though I don't blame him I'm not the most egregious person in the world either Okay I'm gonna take my hair down and that's gonna be that. Have a Red Bull instead is actually also crazy. Brendan, I literally do not condone this behavior. Why did you guys start your day off with like battery acid? I really do truly love you guys and I hate to know that that is the first thing that your body is consuming. What is mad nutrition? That sounds like a pyramid scheme. Thank you for the roses. <laughs> I haven't finished your first coffee yet. I drank coffee when I was at Dollywood because they didn't have tea and it came with our cinnamon bread. Hi, Jerry. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to get hot tea on the plane because fuck this. I'm just glad that, like, I'm not coughing or having to blow my nose every two seconds like I was yesterday. Like, that was actually miserable, which... I'm expecting to have to blow my nose today, which is why I didn't put any makeup in this region, because it's just bound to come off. Um, I want to show y'all the little thing that I got from the Amish, actually, so I'm going to dig that out, if you guys don't care, to, like, just give me a second. But yeah, I went to the Amish yesterday. I was trying to see if they had a two-inch belt buckle. Oh, oh, is it, Brendan, is it like that tea place? I... I feel like I saw it after I left. I have not actually been there myself, like, while I'm here. But I feel like I saw it after I left, and they have, like, all the colorful, like, teas. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, I haven't been there yet, but I did see everybody post that once I moved away. Because once y'all get some out here, everybody's got to post about it. And I get it, because there's really nothing out here, but... So, I didn't get green tea yesterday. I just got regular black tea because I bought our Dollar General out here. They don't have any herbal options because Dollar General just caters to the small town American. So, they have, like, more iced tea than they do regular tea. So, I just got black tea because I felt like that was the most versatile given the fact that I wasn't going to be able to take it with me. So, I just bought, like, a big old thing of that. Oh, my gosh. When and where? Where are they putting that? Dude, that gas station that you guys got since I've been gone is, like, so, like, it's so gentrified. Like, it does not match Smithville at all. But I think it's good that you guys got it. I'm like, screw it, but I'm saying that it sticks out like a sore throat. I can't believe y'all are getting a Burger King. That's actually crazy. No, I didn't move. I'm on vacation. Can you just... Okay. If you've been here for any amount of time, a pet peeve of mine is assumption. I hate when y'all assume shit. Because if you just had the courage to ask a question, which I feel like is the same amount of courage that it takes to assume things, we wouldn't have... I wouldn't have to use the voice that I don't have to mansplain things that don't matter. But I'm getting on the plane today. I ain't going home. I'm going somewhere else, but... I'm excited. Also, let me move this chair. I'm, like, in the table. But it, no, it's okay. But it's been really uh, interesting to be here. Also on the plus side, I go to the Academy in September. Which airport is not your business, you sick fuck? Um, thank you for 
the gift. Chris, what are you doing, Chris? Thank you for the heart me. Chris, I have not seen you at all because I've not been on this app. I've been minding mine and getting money. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've just been busy. <clears throat> Hello. I gotta make this fit. I do this to myself every time I go anywhere. I always fly southwest so I get two bags that I don't have to check in and I always fill them to the brim to the point where I'm about to fall over. Yes, I have been to a Renaissance Fair. So in Tennessee, they actually hold the Renaissance Fair at Castle Gwen, and they let you tour Castle Gwen. And that's honestly one of the most magical Renaissance Fairs. I think that is probably, like, in the U.S. Forgive me for projecting my personal experience onto that. But, um, super cool. Haven't been since I was a kid. It was in May this year, so I didn't get to make it, but definitely want to plan a trip to come back here like the next trip that I plan I want to maybe shoot for like May to try to get that and then maybe like May into June because I also miss the county fairs they're not anything big but it's just like I don't know when you grow up in these small towns like that's like a reunion more than it is an event like you're just bound to see a lot of people which I feel like is something people either really appreciate or they're like, no, I don't want to go because I don't want to see people I went to high school with. But I want to get like a lake house and I want to go to like the Renaissance Fair and I want to um, go to East Tennessee. I mean, not East Tennessee, West Tennessee because I went to East Tennessee this time, but there's so much in West Tennessee too that I haven't seen in a really long time. Memphis was actually the last place that I stayed before I moved here because we drove an RV from or moved away from here because we drove an RV from Tennessee to Arizona and we stayed in like every state every night we we have a castle um thank you we have a castle Zach if you look it up it's Castle Gwen it's really cool like it literally is a castle people do live in it though so like when I was a kid and you got to tour it you only got to tour a portion of it because it was somebody's house but like they have the giant like turkey legs or chicken legs or whatever it is I think it's a turkey and then they've got um like the javelin throw and like they got knots and armor everybody's dressed up like it's it's really cool Yeah, so I don't I don't remember the history of this particular castle, but I do know that there was some significance to it. It was never anything for like royalty, so don't get that that confused. But um, it it's very cool to be like in the middle of bumfuck Tennessee. <laughs> oh God! Thank you, Carrie, for the follow. No, that's what I'm saying, Zach. They're like, ah, look at that stupid piece of stone. Let's bulldoze it and put corn there. But that's some Indiana shit. Um, the castle is Castle Gwen. Castle G-W-E-N. Castle Gwen. And that is out, I do believe, on the way to East Tennessee. Or no, 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 no. That's not, it's not East Tennessee. It's... I just saw it the other day when we were coming back from Brentwood. So, ooh, can I tell you about something cool that we did that I have yet to post about, but I probably will? Oh, my God, Nicole, thank you. How are you? So, I'm really sick right now, if you can't tell by the way that I titled the live. But I'm about to blow my nose, so please, please disregard. If you get off to that, please leave. Um, yes, Google it. Um, Donna Summers. How many of you know Ms. Donna Summer Summers? While I blow my nose, please answer that question. See, it's like rough out here, but it was rough, er, okay? Like I was sick, er. Donna Summers. She like icon from 70s, 80s, mostly like late 70s, early 80s. I don't really know what happened at that. Um Oh, that place is beautiful. All the abandoned houses explored, done been replaced, cornfields. I believe that. I believe that. <clears throat> okay, so 